Hi, it's Drew Hardesty with Utah Valence Center. I'm up here with my cohorts, Trent Meisenheimer and Greg Gagne. We're just below the summer trail of the White Pine here to look at the accident site that occurred yesterday. 7,800 feet, north facing. One skier caught and carried, suffered significant injuries. Um, WBR came in to do the rescue. We're not at the accident site because we felt uncomfortable with the avalanche conditions. So we're at a similar aspect in elevation, looking at what the structure is here. It's very unstable. We feel very uncomfortable with our current avalanche scene here. It's very, very apparent that we have a strong slab here. All this new snow since the last, since Sunday, we're finding very weak faceted snow that this failed on. Again, two to four feet deep, about 100 feet wide. Things are very dangerous out there. These are the very weak facets that form during the high pressure of November. that have been the culprit in many of these avalanches that what I would call are unmanageable. They're breaking out two to four feet deep on a variety of aspects and elevations. What's interesting this year is that at this point, the low and mid elevations are just as dangerous at the upper elevations as well.